Hey baby, have you heard of me? I'm the sporting chef. You know you've heard of the sporting chef. Hey baby, what's your sign? Come on now, can I get you a little drink? Would you? Hey, talk to me baby, come on now. Hey! Uh, uh. <laughs> now that's a bad sign. Hey, I'm Scott Laysap, the sporting chef, and today's show is all about smoking. Yeah, not about hair, it's about smoking fish. I have got Henry Lowe, that's right, Henry Lowe, who is the foremost authority on smoking as far Henry as... Henry Lowe, I'm Henry who is tending the smokers today. Today's show, all about smokers. Henry... We're smoking. You, but you don't need any special equipment to smoke, because I've got this big mullet. And I know Henry tried to make the mullet sale. He's going... Man, you're going to love mullet. Mullet's dynamite. And, and you, you know, you've changed my whole outlook on mullet because if you're one of those people that think mullet, you've, bought, you've been to a restaurant and it's been prepared improperly and you've had, you've had bad mullet, Henry will change your mind just like he did mine. Now, what do we have here? We're making okay. a smoker. Got a regular uh, grill, any kind of grill that you can get tight. Gotcha. Uh, get a little bit of uh, air control to it. And this is just tin can, yep. so you don't have to put the the chips directly on the coals, burn them up, cause a fire, have to worry about putting it out. Now wet chips versus dry chips, is what's, well, what's your you, thought on that? Well, if you're using wet chips, you can put them on a fire to slow it down while you're opening it and getting the, the smoke ready to go to uh, put the smoke on. Yeah. If you've got a uh, little box like this, you put them in dry and they'll start up in about 15, 20 minutes. Because they really don't start to smoke until the chips dry out anyway. It's been my kind of experience. They don't smoke much when they're wet. You want to get your temperature of the grill down to where you're going to cook. Right. Uh, then when you pull it up to put the smoke on, uh, it might get a little bit hotter, so wet chips would calm it down if you don't have something to put. You put the water in and you add enough salt, and as it dissolves until you can float an egg in the brine. That was probably what they did, I think, on ships to carry the the fish overseas. Well, <laughs> well, I did, I did, I'll show you, this is what not to do. Don't brine your fish like that for 10 hours and then um, put it in the smoker because you could actually chip a tooth on this, couldn't you? Because the, when you put it, see this, that's not flaky. No, that's a little... This would be the opposite. This, this is more like mullet jerky. And this is, I'm not sure this is going to catch on. This is what I made, and we're going to call that a bad mistake. The way we did it that worked better... We just shook, and go ahead, shake some of that Ducks Unlimited lemon lime pepper on top of our mullet here, and a little bit of brown sugar. If you take a real soft fish and you want to tighten it up a little bit so it'll stay on the grill and it doesn't just fall apart, uh, if you don't have a screen that you're going to put it on on your smoker, then you want to tighten it up a little bit, at least it's going to give it the flavoring, and you can put the flavoring in the salt mixture or whatever you can put in. That's there, okay. <laughs> this is going to go in the smoker, This is and, and this is going to be smoked at what temperature on that mullet? Uh, the smokers generally, like the uh, little box smoker, will run 150, uh, 175 degrees. Okay. Uh, and then, depending on the thickness of the fish, that makes right. a big difference. So. And, it, and it seemed like when we did that before, it took about an hour and a half? Yeah, an hour, an hour, like hour and a half okay. uh, in getting that to the right consistency to, to use. Now, on the island, on St. George Island, Apalachicola, other places, you have explained to me that the fish dip, fish dip. is where it's at. Tell me about this fish dip you're going to make, man. Well, in a mullet dip, we usually take uh, mullet or take bluefish or any other fish that generally has a little bit of oil to High it oil because content. it makes the, uh -huh. makes the best dip. Uh, flake it up into a, into a bowl. Uh, keep everything. You can chop it. You can put it in a, a food processor on real light. Uh, I like the stuff not beat up too much so it has a little consistency to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to put some... Uh, Gonna take the mullet that we got set up here, and we're gonna put a little bit of cream cheese. Now, if if you don't have mullet, if you go to your store and you don't have mullet, bluefish, whatever else, the oily fish that you named, what's a what's a available fish you can get in a grocery store that would make well, a good fish dip? Sea trout, uh, regular trout, most regular any trout. fish you can make a salmon. Uh, if you got to, you can do it with salmon, is right? Fantastic. And you can brine salmon for a long time, and it'll it won't do with that. Well, no, but it depends on mm -hmm. how big to fish. <laughs> That's it. And that uh, big salmon we brand as much as four, five, six hours. Right. Uh, where these may take 15, 20 minutes. Mayonnaise and 
the cream cheese, and depending on how soft or how moist the fish is, is how much mayonnaise that you want because that fish is going to absorb a fair amount of, uh, of liquid in there. So on a drier fish, we might put a little bit more mayonnaise oh, in there. Put a little bit in there. And I like Obey. Very forgiving. The idea is to not dry out your fish. Don't over smoke it. Keep it still. Keep it nice and moist. And then just make your own signature dip. Henry, yours is looking good, man. Okay. And you see, this comes out a little bit soupy right now. And by the time we put the fish in it and really get it stirred up, it's going to be just about right.